WUSA 9 Weather Watch is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. Bright and beautiful Mary Marshall in the WSA 9 Weather Center with the weather update. We're going to see plenty of sun today. Winds will be slightly breezy, but overall a really nice day. High of 49 in D.C. We're at 50 in Greenbelt, Colesville 48, Herndon 51 and 49 degrees in Germantown. Winds will be out of the southwest at 5 to 15 miles per hour with occasional breezes, uh, gusts rather up to about 20 miles per hour. So here's a look at temperatures by the hour. By 3 o'clock, we're at 49, 48 degrees by 5 p.m and 44 degrees by 7 o'clock this evening. Here is what I'm tracking next. 50s return to the forecast this week, and we're also looking at shower chances Thursday and Friday. They may have an impact on your commute, those rain chances. 49 degrees on Sunday. This is closer to our average high around this time of the year, but we do see a warming trend. Upper 40s on Monday. By Tuesday, we're right at 50. Wednesday, a high of 51. And by Thursday, we're getting up to 54 degrees despite that chance for showers. Speaking of which, let's take a look at it. This is your Thursday at about 10 a.m. Most of the showers will be north and west of D.C., but at least one model brings that over the district as well. If that's going to be the case, we could see a slower commute in the morning with wet roads. And by Thursday afternoon, looks like the evening commute, the bulk of those showers will be south of D.C., so perhaps a dry ride home. But later Thursday night, we're talking after 10 or 11 o'clock all the way through Friday morning, we're going to look at another round of showers in the forecast. So that Friday morning commute will likely be a slower one with the rain out there and if you're walking to Metro, you'll probably need the umbrella. Kids waiting at the bus stop are going to want some rain gear as well for Friday morning because this rain will be moderate at times. This is a snapshot of 730 AM. I advanced the clock to 11 AM. We can see that low pressure beginning to uh, strengthen just a little bit as this pushes further east and away from us. So on the back edge, we will gradually dry out as that moves over to the east. This is Friday at 430. Friday night plans are looking dry. Now I'm looking at the extended forecast and tracking the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook and everywhere that you see this dark orange color or uh, the reddish light -like color. That's an indication of those areas having a pretty decent chance for seeing temperatures that will be above average. The only spot in the US uh, that is, they're looking at temperatures below average would be on the West Coast, but a good chunk of the rest of the country, including right here in DC, Maryland and Virginia. We have a good chance for seeing those temperatures above average and we can see that kind of come into fruition in the 10 day forecast. Yes, we're in 40s today and tomorrow back down to the 40s on next Saturday. But look ahead to next week, the end of February. It's going out with a bang temperatures into the 60s. Many of you telling me that you're kind of ready for spring since we didn't get very much snow yesterday. You're like, hey, we may as well just go into spring. So I heard from you on social media, uh, and so I looked into the extended forecast to look at those warmer temperatures that are heading our way, but still got to wait for spring. Still about 30 days away. Spring starting on March 19th at 11:06 p.m. All right, taking a look at your seven day forecast. Temperatures up to 50 on Tuesday. Again, mid 50s by Thursday and Friday. We do have shower chances on those days and that could slow down the morning commute. We're up to 46 degrees by next Saturday.